Oh, shh, don't tell anybody. It's a surprise. It's a secret. They're, they're just think it's a box with Julia behind the box. Yeah, watch it, show. Ah! Surprise! We were hiding behind the box. You thought it was just a box. But actually, we're going to make some more Play-Doh stuff with the Play-Doh Sweet Shop Frosted Fun Bakery set. Lucky for you! Hey, don't eat that like we did last time. What are you talking about? sure look good, but you know what? It didn't taste good. Not like this stuff. This may be different. I mean, I'm not gonna eat it or anything, but if I did, well... You're crazy. Let's just open the box and see what's inside. So we gotta assemble it. There's lots of stuff to assemble, and there's lots of different cans of Play-Doh. Well, there's four different cans of Play-Doh, and these Play-Dohs are called Play-Doh Pluses. I don't know why they're called Play-Doh Pluses. I can only assume they're called Play-Doh Pluses because they smell good. They smell like sugar, and I love sugar. And it's hard to not eat Play-Doh when it smells like sugar. But don't worry, dude, I'm not gonna eat this one. I totally learned my lesson. You get a brown Play-Doh, you get a purple Play-Doh, you get a yellow Play-Doh, and you get a pink Play-Doh. Plus you get all kinds of accessories. You get a star, so you can make like star cookies. You get a heart, so you can make heart cookies. You get a whatever this is, you can make whatever this is cookies. This is to make your Play-Doh cupcakes. This is to put on the tip of the thing so that you can stir it down and make frosting and stuff come out of it. And there's actually three different tips like this. What should we make first, dude? Gingerbread man. A gingerbread man! I couldn't agree more! To do that, we're going to need our brown Play-Doh. The gingerbread man actually has a mold that you can use right at the base of the playset. It's right there! And you push the brown Play-Doh into the mold, and then you make a gingerbread man with the gingerbread mold. Voila! One delicious gingerbread man! What do you think, dude? Awesome. We'll put him on the plate so we can eat. We're not going to eat him. He does look good, though. Just a little bite. Ha! I was just to you! I wouldn't eat this gingerbread man because it's made out of Play-Doh and that's disgusting! It just looks so good! What do we make next, dude? Sugar cookie! A sugar cookie! What a great idea! You know, the sugar cookie also takes brown Play-Doh. So let's get our brown Play-Doh back and the sugar cookie has a mold too. It's again at the base of the playset. There's tons of molds at the base of this playset. You can make so many different things, but we're gonna make a sugar cookie. What's perfect in the sugar cookie is it needs pink, like a pink raspberry kind of uh, Play-Doh for the middle of it. So we're just gonna stick this in the middle of it. And voila, sugar cookie, ready to go. What do you think of that one, dude? Looks awesome. That one looks really good. Ooh, we could probably eat this one though. No. No, you're right. That was another test and you passed the test. Most people would have said, I'll eat that sugar cookie. It looks delicious, but not me. Let's just put it on the plate. There we go. Gingerbread man and sugar cookie. All ready to not eat. But boy, do they sure look good. I was just kidding, dude. It was a test again. All right, dude. Let's make one more treat. Now what do you want to make? Cupcake. I couldn't agree more. As a matter of fact, I bought this set specifically to make cupcake. Cupcakes are my favorite. Let's go ahead and use our cupcake mold. And we will need also some more brown Play-Doh. So we're gonna use some of that. We're gonna put it into the mold, just like that. Now the top of the cupcake requires the special Play-Doh Plus yellow Play-Doh frosting. And to do that, we're gonna take our yellow Play-Doh and we're gonna put it in here and, uh, dude, this smells just like frosting. I'm not gonna eat it though, I'm just gonna put it in here. And we're gonna push it in here and go squeeze it out, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And there it comes out of the bottom there. This stuff smells delicious. This cupcake's kind of special. So it's going to need some special purple sprinkles. So to do that, we're going to take another Play-Doh can, our purple Play-Doh, and we're going to take these out, and we're going to put purple stuff all over the top of it. And voila! There you have it. One delicious Play-Doh cupcake. Looks good enough to eat, but I sure wouldn't take a bite of this delicious Play-Doh cupcake. 
There might be a lesson in all of this, I don't know. Off the top of my head, I would say not everything that smells good tastes good. So just bear that in mind. And while you're thinking about that, don't forget to like the video, and share the video, and tell all your friends about the video, and watch the video again, and thanks for watching all the videos, and I'll see you next time guys, and I love you, goodbye, I love you!